guys, good day. Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Uncle Stew, and today I am not actually bringing stew like they're not doing pepper stew or anything. I'm just it's more of about some vlog time, some personal revelation time now. So for some of my viewers, you guys already know that I moved out of my parents' home some months back, you know, and I've actually been trying to get a hold of my own life by myself, but it's, it has actually it has actually been, you know hard and it has not been easy bro practically what i'm telling you guys today is why i had to leave my friends home to go stay on my own um how the journey went and of course here right now in ibadan or your state how i am coping with the old mr independent thing niggas have to tell you ladies have to tell you it ain't no joke it is not easy at all that is what this vlog is for i'll be telling you everything in this video if you don't subscribe to my youtube channel yet come on what are you waiting for please hit on the subscribe button right now and tap on the notification bell button so that when i start dropping a video you'll be the first person to get it asap now let's dive right into the video Thank you. so guys we're locating to a bad dorm the decision wasn't exactly to it wasn't because i wanted to just leave my parents home like that but I said I wanted to leave my parents home because I finished NYC October 2018 and ever since October 2018 I had been at home no job, no real job like that, nothing just you know of course helping them at home with a few stuffs here and there like that but I just needed a move right so um, I put it for my masters in 2019 and I finally got admitted I think in December 2019 or January 2020 this year I got admitted for my masters and we were supposed to resume on I think June. So while I had always wanted to just leave home and then just be out of the house. I mean I've been home for almost two years. My MSC was like my plan out of there. I was like, okay, once MSC comes, I'm going, I can be free again and all of that. But it wasn't so I wasn't even free. I was free. I mean I was a graduate as well in my NYC. They allowed me to do reasonable things I wanted to do on my own, basically. But I just wanted to completely be on my own, really. So, um, master's admission came in. I was happy, you know, getting ready and all like that. I was already buying things down. In fact, my dad said he was going to give me a car. He legit actually gave me the car. So I started buying um, spanners, equipment, and all like that. Which spanners and all. I started buying them down because I don't like having issues with cars and stuff like that. So. You know, I was getting ready, then all of a sudden, Corona outbreak. What? Lockdown happened, um, schools closed down, everybody went back home. Not in, up to now, schools, some schools have not resumed, including my school. I got admitted into UI, University of Ibadan, so um, we, we, are st we have still not resumed, which means that the old set are not yet done, and we that we are like we want to go in also we cannot go in yet which is really really frustrating but yeah basically that was why i wanted to leave on because like i just wanted to leave back now my masters that was my escape route was blocked oh my god it was so frustrating because we kept on open and open and open and maybe okay june or july or, or august or nothing no show at all i mean the lockdown had been since like march or so march or april that was when the lockdown started and it has been annoying really but that aside, another plan of mine that I had alongside my master's was that I had always wanted to own a football viewing center. So alongside my, alongside my master's plan was that when I eventually go for my MSc, I had been saving money that I was going to open a football viewing center. That was going to serve as a kind of side also for me, yeah, helping Mr. Independent and all, a few side income on the side. So I already had all of that mapped out that, okay, once, um, what's this thing called? Uh, I go over, I come over here to Ibadan, I'm going to set up the viewing center and all like that. So, the, all of that were plans I had made down. But since it, uh, school did not resume, I just, just, I was like, okay, let me keep the plan. Whenever we resume, that's when I'm eventually going to do this stuff. But then again, guys, like, it was just not forthcoming at all. ASU were on strike, lockdown was not even relaxing at all. Even though lockdown came down and people were going back to their normal lives, market women resumed and all like that, offices were resuming, schools are kind of like the last thing to resume, I don't know why, markets are resuming, schools have not resumed, I don't even understand, public like children are going to school, kids are going to school, primary school students are going, secondary school students are going, but tertiary institutions students are not going to school, I don't understand that move double 
that's just by the side there yeah, guys so um after i think sometime in august yeah like mid august I, I just had to call my parents and say see i think i'm going to have to move i already told them about my business plan for the football game center thing now i had to move because the new season was starting in september i think september 19 yeah and i wanted to be on ground so that the game house the football game center was everything was on ground before the new season started so that people don't know say okay well, there's a game house here that we can come and watch ball so i told them that say guys i'm going to have to move out of the house so that i can go and start up my business plan in ibadan Shege, so that i can set up things down before the football uh season actually resumes. so the major reason like why i had to move ahead of my masters was because i wanted to set up the business plan before the football season started so i moved out i gave them i told them i would like to move in the beginning of september the season the league was starting september 19 or 21 so I told them I wanted like that that would give me like a week and uh, two weeks or three to plan ahead. So I think that I told them in mid August after Salah, yeah. So I moved on the thirty first of August. So I left the show on the thirty first of August to Ibadan. Yeah. It was a fun journey. <laughs> living though, living was quite hard because I'd been with them for almost two years. So a few of my siblings cried because I really born a lot they were not happy that i was living at all it was really hard on them they sold quite a lot but then it just had to happen you know it had to happen so it was a, a fun drive not too long less than two hours away in ibadan ibadan i like to call it my city of dreams because like i've always fantasized about ibadan so much i've always fantasized about ibadan so much so yeah going out to ibadan checked in uh it was my mom's driver baba and my junior brother came there they accompanied us me and my friend we came down to Ibadan and then you know came into my house brought all of my loads and stuff like that so guys so far so good it has been tough settling in like bro if the day you say easy now scam this stuff is actually not easy at all being on your own setting up you have every day you are buying new stuff new new stuff new things Curtains, you have to buy bed, you have to buy bed sheet, pillow, you have to do hangers, you have to buy broom, mop, buckets, all sorts of things. Like in the first one week, I was buying things back to back. Like I prepared, I bought stocks back, but guess what? You can never prepare enough for a, a new change like this when you're moving places or you're moving states. You can never prepare enough. You just get some things will be safe. Nature will just demand them, the nature of that place, you know, like all the kind of, you know, like just the fact that it is not somewhere you know already, it's, just, it's gonna demand some new different things from you. So that was kind of uh, what I had to go through, and I'm still going through, but now, I mean, it's been two months here now, so largely uh, I have settled in, I can say I'm 75% settled in any battle, it wasn't like the hard times before. So. In my next vlog, guys, I'm going to be telling you about the exact things I faced, the problems I faced in Ibadan, you know, settling in and all like that. I'm going to be doing a video about how I decorated my room. It is not exactly as I want it, but to an extent, this is something I can work with. I had to decorate my room um, and a few other stuff like that. So make sure you stay tuned, you subscribe to my channel, and then you get an update about. I mean, tap on the notification bell button so that when I start dropping a new video, you're going to get notified that. Hey, obviously I've dropped a new video. So you have a lovely day guys and enjoy yourself. Bye.